it's Abby and today I have some new gotchas. I went on the first gotcha hunt of 2023 and I think I found some good capsules. In no particular order, let's dive in. I'm gonna go for this one. Let's open this bright pink capsule up. Looks like we have an apple. Oh, I remember this one. It's chinchira chirarism. Chira means to like peak. And it's a chinchilla, so it's like a pun. We have the apple and the little chinchilla. Let's put it together. Top half even has a stem. That looks like a real apple. And here is a chinchilla. This is adorable. Look at this. It nests right in the apple. And then I think, oh, it fits in the apple. But you can also have it peek out. Just, that's adorable. In the picture, they kind of have it like this. That's cute. Just a little apple, nothing special. JK. That's adorable. Here is the lineup. The door one's cute, the shoe one's cute, but I think we got one of the cuter ones. The apple's really nice. Let's take a look at this one next. I have no clue what it is, but it kind of looks like one where the capsule's part of it. It looks like a little hamster ball. Not gonna lie, I got these a few days ago and I have no memory of what I got. I guess I get to enjoy them twice then, huh? Okay, does this pop off? Oh, it does wait what is this oh it's a ring it's a little hamster ring but i don't get this case it is a hamster ball oh my goodness look at its face what is this lid for though i don't get it it just says that it's a cage shaped capsule i don't really get why this top piece comes off it's not like it's open weird but there are seven different hamsters and we got the Campbell hamster. Looks like they all have the same face. My current obsession is cute rings. Just a little hamster chilling. I guess it's like he's running around my finger. I don't know. I think his face is funny. I guess he can live in his hamster cage. He has some air holes. And I guess I just broke that off for no reason. <laughs> Let's check this one out next. I got this one because lately you guys know I've been checking out a lot of the collectible figures, Pop Mart, Finding Unicorn, and then a lot of the cute ones that keep a good stocks. And this is a shaker figure, but it was like 200 yen. I'd have to go look back at my footage. Finally got all that tape off. Here it is. I think they're all jellyfish. Oh, actually, I don't know. They're octopus, never mind. But this looks really cute. I just wanted to see what the quality was like. Because the collectible figures in their blind boxes are usually about 10 to 15 dollars. And obviously this was a lot cheaper. And you know what? It looks really good. It has little pearls in it. The plastic part's kind of interesting. It looks a little bit magnified on the bottom here. I really like it. Let's look at the lineup. Um, honestly, this, I don't, like, I don't know how to compare it. I don't know, like, what to look at. Like, oh, the plastic's not super thin because blah, 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 and stuff like that. It looks good to me and it looks on par with the collectible figures that you pay $10, $15 for. Here's the lineup. Oh, I would have liked the purple one. That one's super cute. I'll be going back to film another gotcha hunt very soon. I'll probably try to pick up a few more of these because... That purple one's cute. Kind of similar to that lineup, I saw a set of, I think these are axolotls. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, they are. They're clear sofa beat, soft vinyl figures. And I mean, look at it, it's translucent. I was very much drawn to it. And I think I got a really cute color because you can see them through the capsule. But let's open this up and we shall take a look because Gotchas aren't messing around. They're really good quality. Here we go, I think. Did I get all the tape? Maybe I didn't. Nope, I definitely did. It was just very hard to open. So here is the little axolotl. Oh, it is a little rubbery because it's soft vinyl. 
But look at... I don't know if the color's showing up on camera, but he looks like a little bubble. Hmm. He is quite rubbery, but it's like... Mm, finger puppet kind of material. I think the design's adorable. I personally prefer a more harder plastic, but I know that there are people that collect soft vinyl figures, like the Ultraman figures and stuff. I think a full set of these would look really cute. Look at all the different colors! And the different poses. Clear color, no kawaii upa rupa. Collect them all and play with them. If I see these again, I'll grab another. I wouldn't mind having the pink one and the yellow one. Cute little sea creatures. I grabbed this one because it was super duper nostalgic. And it, I think this is like a new series, so it means that they're still making Yokai Watch merch, right? So it looks like I have Komasan, which I'm very excited about. Komasan's definitely one of my favorites. If I remember correctly, the lineup was actually really nice. I think I would have been happy with anything we had. Oh well, you know what, I don't want Whisper. But there's Jibanyan, Whisper, Komasan, and Komajiro. I like Komajiro too. Is there a year on here? I don't know, but I think this Machi Boke series is pretty new, like the waiting figures. I can probably look up when it came out. Looks like there's a little bit of assembly to do here. Shouldn't be too hard. I wish they would port the Yokai Watch games to the Nintendo Switch because I loved Yokai Watch 1, 2, 3 was okay, and I haven't played 4 yet, but I think it's on my pass for my PlayStation, so maybe I'll try to play it soon. Let me know if that's gameplay you'd be whoop, interested in seeing. He looks so distraught. Okay, this one goes on this side. <laughs> I love Komazan. I'm sad that the Yokai watch craze died down because they're so adorable. We love Komasan. Oh, look at him sitting there. What a cute little Komainu. I would not mind having the other ones of that set. I wouldn't mind getting more of those either. Okay, next one. Looks like it's some sushi. I think I know what this one is. Like I said, I am into collecting rings right now and I thought this set was cute. Some of the sets, it's very random. Like a lot of them are food puns, which are funny, but eh. This one, if I can get it open, was really cute. Also, egg sushi, one of my favorites. I don't really eat seafood that much. I eat salmon and cooked fish, sure, but um, raw fish, I just prefer salmon and that's about it. So, when I go out to eat sushi with my friends, I end up eating a lot of egg. Do you see this? It spins! Wow, it spins really well. It's not gonna stop. Oh my goodness. So apparently there's a bearing in here. That's really cool. That's a very fun fidget toy. Here, I'm gonna open it up for my chubby finger. Totally wear this one. Oh, that's fun. And it's called Maware Spin! Kaiten Zushi Bing Conveyor belt sushi ring. So here is the lineup. Oh, it tells you how to spin it. There's egg. Uh, what is that second kanji? Ebi kappamaki, which is cucumber ikura, which is salmon roe, and otoro, which is fatty tuna. I forget what kanji that second one is. There are no pictures, but they all basically look like this with just the different sushis. Oh my goodness, I love it. It spins so well. Of course I had to grab some anime capsules. This one is Spy Family. Oh look at no tape. I love it. And let's see, I think all of these were acrylic stands. It's from the Pyongkore design. And we got all the figures from the Pyongkore collection when they did a gacha. But this is Yoru and Lloyd. I always said I wasn't gonna fall down the acrylic stand bunny hole, but I have been collecting quite a few lately. There's a stand. It's really cute, the design. Lloyd and Yor. Ooh, these are nice quality. I don't think there's anything on here, so they've peeled that all off, which I appreciate. And it fits on the stand. Lately, I've been getting acrylic stands and they won't fit because they're not cut the right size or something. I don't know, but the coloring and style on this one's really, really nice. I 
really like it. Very comic book style. Another one I would definitely be tempted to get more of. Next one. Oh, I remember these. Um, this is a new gacha that I've been seeing around lately. I think there was a Sanrio one that I saw too. Maybe we'll try to get that next time. But, um, they're little pouches that come with stickers. Like, that is right up my alley. <laughs> the pouch is a little bit crumpled in here. But they come with multiple designs and little cute sticker flakes. Here are the stickers. <laughs> the pouch is so crumpled. Yeah, you're gonna wanna put this between some books or something, or maybe you can steam it. I don't know how to flatten vinyl. Here's the design. It's really cute. I really like this little sketch design. I think they did a stationary series with it at the Pokemon Center. Don't quote me on that. It's a little cute pouch. Um, obviously meant to keep these stickers in, but you can also put, I don't know, stamps in here? What other what other little things could you put in here? I mean, you could keep like pills and stuff if you have to carry them around with you in your purse. Let's look at the stickers. Okay, so it doesn't come with that many. Oh, I don't know, a, a decent amount of stickers. Pikachu on a sandwich. Pikachu with glasses, that's cute. Pikachu in a coffee, oh, I love these. Pikachu with a pretzel. Pikachu on a bagel sandwich. Ooh, a bagel sandwich sounds really good right now. Pikachu with a pencil and Pikachu with a notebook. So it's kind of very like cafe, stationary, hipster vibes, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> They're really cute. Here is a food gotcha. I've been thinking about getting the full set of this one, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I grabbed one. We'll see. This is a gotcha that even if I have doubles of, it would be okay. It's Mr. Donut. Currently eating a lot of Mr. Donut because I got their lucky bag and it came with 50 free donuts. Obviously they're not free because you pay for the lucky bag, but we do like the French cruller. Comes with the Mr. Donut plate and a cute little donut. Donuts were one of the first things I learned to make when I started Sweets Deco and working with clay. I mean, I did use a mold at first, but it's pretty fun making these. But yeah, I would say it looks quite nicely textured. Let me see if I can get closer. Very nicely textured. The strawberry chocolate and the spots look very realistic. I would say a real French cruller looks like this with the powdered sugar on top. Then of course the logo. But yeah, as a miniature foodie, foodie miniature, miniature foodie, I think this would be a fun set to have. Here's the lineup. I think it's just like the main popular ones, like the Ponde Rings. And I'm not sure what else. And apparently my fingers are very dry. Okay, here we go. Coconut chocolate, choco fashion, old fashioned, strawberry custard, French, and Ponde Ring. I like the Ponde Ring. That's my favorite, the mochi donut. We have a few more to go. This one has a lot of tape on it. Let me just peel this off. This is a cute Sanrio one. This one's been out for a few months now but I never really grabbed it because I wasn't sure if I wanted it as a full set or not, but I decided to try my luck this time. And I would say I got pretty lucky. I got my melody. I think that's probably one that I would have wished for. I just opened it and then closed it again. These are hard to open. There we go. I wouldn't have minded. Wasn't there a cinema roll? No, there wasn't. Or was there? No, there wasn't. So I think I got the one I wanted. It comes with a little hula hoop and connectors. Here's the figure. She's holding on to her little hula hoop or train. I saw similar figures to these from a website. I think it was in, it was like a Hong Kong toy company. And they had like Disney figures. It was very similar to this. Okay, so this is kind of soft. So you can definitely make it into a loop, like a hula hoopy circle loop. I mean, it's like a one person train, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be more hula hoopy. Now seeing this, I definitely want the others because a cute little train, who can resist? I wonder if they'll make another set of these. It is called Shushu Popo Goko. Shushu Popo is like the sound trains make. It's what Japanese kids say. Shushu Popo, it's like choo choo. But yeah, so I guess it's not meant to be a hula hoop necessarily. It says right here, even just one is cute. I don't know, maybe I, don't, I get this thing where I see characters too much or like overhyped and I don't really care for them anymore. So Hello Kitty, I grew up loving her. I had a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff, but at some point I switched over to my Melody and now I like Kuromi and Wish Me Mel. But as a set, all these would be cool. We have a few more to go. 
This is a Sumiko Gurashi one. We don't get many of these. There are actually a lot of them out there. But it's that same phenomenon where it's everywhere. So my brain's like, no, we're sick of it. But look at this cute little cafe sign. And it's a light, I believe. Anything that can be used as a miniature prop, I'm there. There we go. That was easy enough. It doesn't really snap in though. Hmm. I might be tempted just to glue this in because it's very loose, which is a little unfortunate, but nothing we can't remedy. Unless I'm doing it backwards. Let's try just in case. No, it's just loose. So let's pull the little tab out and turn it on. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Is that better? You can see it. Uh, how bright it is anyway. That's really cool. I like that. And the design is so cute! A little ghost pouring coffee for Tokage? Not Tokage, for Kappa? Question mark. For Penguin? Question mark. Oh my goodness. I think the lineup is really cute too. I think there's one for each character. Shirokuma, Penguin, uh, Tonkatsu, Neko, Tokage, and Mame Master and Obake. We have a tiny one. Oh, and my sushi is spinning. This is a cinema roll one. This is a fairly new set. I don't know. This tape is kind of dirty though. That's weird. This might not be the set I'm thinking of. This could be an older one. I don't know. Let's open it up. Little cinema roll strap. Usually I don't get straps because I prefer figures that stand up on their own, but this design will get. It is a circus themed set and we have the Tamanori walking on a ball. Oh, any of these would have been cute. The ringmaster's cute too. And the little teacup one. This is one of those figures that if I did Dekoden, I would definitely use this on like a phone case. Look at his little cinnamon bun tail. I love it. It's really nice quality too. The paint's a little bit rough, but meh. Like the paint job on the ball could be cleaner, but cinnamon looks cute. Here we have another food one couldn't pass up on this one because we have a ongoing battle about how to say this. Apparently it is different in America and as far as I know, the UK, um, those of you in other countries are going to have to tell me how you say it. In Japan we say chupa chops, and in English I just call them chupa chops. But apparently it's said differently. Looks like I get two of them. Wow, the wrapping's really realistic. Is this like a grape? Mascato, maybe a white grape? I like how it comes with a wrapped one and an unwrapped one, and then the little logo tag. Chupa Chups has been doing a lot of collaborations. They had a really cute collab with Sanrio, but I think it sold out really quickly. I didn't even go look for it. I forgot, actually. If you're wanting to use them as props, though, you'd need a larger size doll, I feel like. This is just super cute as a strap, though. Just put it on your bag. So there's cola, pudding, strawberry, pineapple, strawberry cream, and mascato, which are new, apparently. I always like the cola-flavored ones. Ooh, it's the second set. That's cool. So there's more of these out there. This is also Bandai Namco. Very nice. Here we have another Pokemon stationary pouch. They had multiple designs, so I got the two Pokemon ones. Next time I go, I'll try to find a different character, maybe? This must be like the new thing that they're making. And we'll never say no to stickers. This is more of like a chibi pastel-y look. Um, oh, it's the Poké Peace series, which I got the houses for when they first came out and I have never unboxed. So leave me a comment down below if you think I should make a video opening those. But here, for now, is the pouch. That's adorable. Oh, look at the little Pikachu! The little candy and the Pichu macaron or ice cream sandwich. I don't know what it is. Oh, I like this art style a lot. In the back it says Poké Peace, Pokémon Peaceful Place. Let's take a look at the stickers. Pikachu, Pikachu, Pichu, Pikachu, Pikachu. Oh, look, it's a little candy. And then here's Pichu. Do you think that's an ice cream sandwich? What do you think that is? Pichu and Pichu. Very, very cute. I think I like this set a little bit more. On to our last one. This is one of the premium gotchas. This was a 500 yen gotcha, and um, when I first got it, I wasn't sure which one I got, but looking at it now, I think I'm pretty sure which character it is. Obviously, I want Donald. As a professional Donald fangirl, 
I think it's only right that I have Donald. This is one of those gotchas where the capsule itself is the stand, I believe. It's Chippendale, which is fine. It's still a very fancy, very nice gotcha. Oh my goodness. It's a headless chipmunk. Two headless chipmunks. So we'll put them together. How am I supposed to know who they are by their body? Oh, they are slightly different colors. I'm going to guess this one's Chip and this one's Dale. I'm going to assume this fits in to here, maybe? That seems right, don't you think? I don't think it super duper matters which is the front. The capsule's a really nice smooth plastic. It looks like one of those mirror cakes. Comes with some attachments. It's supposed to look like a Mickey head, like Mickey ears. The design is really fancy. I really want the Donald. This was one of those that I almost ordered a full set online, but 500 yen gachas are expensive. I was hoping I would get lucky. Let's put this ear in. And this ear in. Oh look, there's a little acorn on it. That's cute. And then here's the sign that says Chip and Dale. Honestly, I would have been happy with Steamboat Willie too. Let's get the chipmunks. Here we have Dale, Happy Dale, and Chip. Okay, I'm curious to see how these are gonna fit with each other. Oh, Dale goes on his shoulders? Okay, hold on, let me figure this out. There we go, it's kind of like a puzzle. Now I'm gonna put his head on. So he's holding Dale's legs. Oh, that's really cute. And then we're gonna put Chip right on the mouse ears. Adorable, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna say it's worth 500 yen. It's simple and the plastic's really light. Like I almost wanna put clay in this to make it heavier, like a weight of some sort. I don't know, just the design, it's very clean and smooth. Very, very nice. I will definitely try again for the Donald one. I feel like the next gacha hunt's just gonna be me trying to get more of the same stuff. I will find some new stuff too. And if you have any requests, leave them down below and I'll try to find what you're looking for to share with you guys. Here is the Donald one, by the way. I'm sure you guys saw it on the machine, but here is the Donald one. It's so cute, I want it. I got really excited because the colors are opposite, but it was Chip and Dale, but that's okay. Which one would you go after? Let me know down below, and I guess that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I had fun looking for gotchas, and I had fun opening them. Like I said, leave me a comment down below which one was your favorite, what kind you'd like to see me open in future videos, and if you're not already subscribed, please do, and join my Discord. We have fun posting photos of all the toys we get. I'll see you there, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!